Hello, 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 and welcome to another inciting installment of A Little Dangerous Benign with me, your host, co-pilot, Commander Joe Little, and and welcome as my voice reverberates across the galaxy. Inciting installment. I realize I have a little bit of my Twitch feed with me. Here we go. Fixed. Lovely. So, here we are. On a lovely, chilled Sunday evening in Churanovsky City. Oh, with slightly wayward head tracking. Hang on. I could just shift the device. There we go. I think that'll do for the moment. So, <clears throat> we are welcomed here with uh, Griefed and M Curtains. Uh, what am I doing? I've, I've gone all of, a, all of a flipsy. M Curtains thinks a full stream with a two second delay echo would be worth trying. Well, um, perhaps so we can throw that over to the GIMP cast. Sounds like the sort of thing he'd try. Strange fellow. So, keen listeners will remember from last week's show. Uh, no, not last week's Thursday. Feels like a week ago. Lordy Lou. Anyway, where are we? Yes. We've just picked up some of these delightful little rares. along with 27 limpets. I think we can sell those, can't we? We're not going to be mining for a little while again. So, uh, um, advanced maintenance. I remember how to do this. Restock. Limpets. Bye-bye. There we are. So, just out of curiosity. No, no more relics for me. No, let's not bother with that. Yeah. So, MC, griefed. How are we? Sold everything. Yep. Ooh. So yes, we're off to um, unlock an engineer. Specifically. Hollow me. Oh dear. No, we've already unlocked him. I'm trying to lock him up again. <laughs> Dog stuck her tongue in my beer this afternoon. Well, um, how did that make you feel? You sleep well in your um, guest bestel, or whatever that blooming phrase is. Ooh. What were we doing? Yes, we were over in this window, weren't we? I know what I'm doing. I've played this game before. There. It's the heat, you know. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're off to see, meet Elvira Martuk. Oh dear. Not a big fan of uh, canine saliva. Ooh. I think that might still be on a cooldown, Griefed. I think I gave the Barry one um, a longer cooldown for reasons um, I'm troubled to explain. Try one of the others. Hmm. 
we'll see how we get on with that. Right. Uh, could you just... Uh, oh, hang on. Something's gone wrong here. Uh, right. Ooh. Ooh, did I... We got all of the light. Uh, let see. It was uh, quite remarkable. Mother uh, Nature put on quite the show. Yes. It was uh, largely sheet. Um, with a frequency uh, not unlike many of the more successful discos I have been to. Oh, I'm sorry, MC. Right, how are we doing, Phillips? Twelve. Ooh, quite a trip. Well, the sooner we start, the sooner we arrive. That's what my GP usually tells me. And we're off. Thank you, Victor. Well, I think, I think we got hail at the start of the uh, rain as well. Which is, I think something does happen from time to time with, uh, with thunderstorms. And what's coming out of the uh, tube station at Brixton? And um, everywhere was some sort of was a couple of inches in ice. Courtesy of a uh, hailstorm that I'd completely missed. <laughs> that was quite surreal. I think it was more or less blue skies by the time I emerged. So, um, yes, unfortunately, you know, we've not really been in a position to make the most of, uh, of the bonus week because we're a little bit slim on unlocked engineers. <coughs> Excuse me. No biggie, you know. <coughs> Just pooping along, you know. Minding my own beeswax, getting on, you know, me being me. That's all. Yeah. Strange. So yes, it's um, it's a bank holiday tomorrow in the United Kingdom. Much of it, anyway. Excuse me. So, uh, yes, day, around, day off kicking around the house. I think the Gimp is intending to play some uh, green scale VR. Yes. I would, um, I would play Elite um, in VR uh, on the stream, but they don't make a Vive uh, that uh, is quite. Um, Quite in keeping with my unique uh, cranial geometry. It's a pity. So instead, what I do, instead of VR, is I wait for the gimp uh, to be in VR and then I flick peanuts at him. The, uh, the goal is to flick as many peanuts as you can at him uh, before he notices. You get bonus points if you happen to. Uh, drive oh, if you happen to synchronize your peanut lobbing with uh, on game violence. In game violence. Sorry. I went for on screen and in game at the same time there and I created a sort of a nonsensical portmanteau. Weekend, which is a seven day weekend, which is uh, just, um, I think we've got something on the old Thargoid news, uh, Galnet news. 
Oh, hello. Go on, let's, let's, let's do that. Oh, no. No, I've done that wrong. There we go. Oh, thank you, Chasborn. Welcome to the party. Do, uh, do help yourself to a warm cider from the uh, drinks cabinet. And any one of a number of chairs. Yes, we're, we're um... Ooh, los chupacabras. The goat sucker. Singular. So let's go with that, see where, see where it leads us. Yes. Week in review. Here, Here are this week's major stories. Oh. Terrorist group, the League oh, of Liberation, has committed like three further murders in Federation space. The victims include two members of the pilots. Federation. In both cases, the commander's ships were laser branded with the words, For Jameson. Ooh. Commodore Riri McAllister of the Alliance Defense Force has been appointed to the Council of Admirals. That's bad news. Filling the vacancy left by the late Tuli McBuchanan, who was killed by the League of Reparation. McAllister has pledged to support efforts against the terrorist group responsible for her predecessor's death. Meanwhile, entertainment journalist Solomon Helios has been speculating about the romantic life of Princess Ashling Doof, who is understood to have spurned the advances of Admiral Denton Patrias. Three potential suitors have been identified. Senator Caspian Leopold, anti-slavery campaigner Yael Torido, and Federal Ambassador Jordan Rochester. In other news, Los Chupacabras, an independent faction based in the LFT-926 system, has announced plans for a musical event, known as the Jailhouse Rock and Blues Music Festival. In support of the event, Los Chupacabras have placed an open order for quantities of beer, tobacco, coffee and narcotics, and have promised to reward pilots who deliver these commodities to Meredith City, in the LFT-926 system. Authorities in the TNC system have reported a sharp increase in the number of criminals operating in the area. Uh, to counter this threat, the autocracy of TNC has placed a kill order on all ships on its wanted list, and has promised to reward pilots who deliver bounty vouchers to Janibek of Port. Finally, two community-led initiatives reached successful conclusions this week. In the core systems, an operation to recover survivors and sell Which from a convoy attacked by pirates was supported by scores of independent pilots. While in Colonia, hundreds of commanders delivered micro-resources to the Colonia Cooperative, which is in Colonia. investigating the region's potential to support larger populations in the future. And those are the main stories this week. The courtship of Ashling Duval. A media broadcast has I. You had wonder. Identified a number of potential so romantic funny. suitors for Princess Ashling Duval. Entertainment journalist Solomon Helios discussed the matter in a special edition of his program. There's been a lot of discussion about Ashling Duval lately, with some viewing her as reaching a certain maturity in the political arena. But never mind that. Yeah, never mind that. What we want to know is. Who is the galaxy's most eligible princess dating? Let's face it, there must be no end of gentlemen focusing their sights on her. She's a Duval, the daughter of the late emperor, and a woman of enormous charm, Warning. Temperature critical. intelligence and culture. Plus, she's a stunner. Three years ago it looked like Admiral Denton Patrias might be the one tying the knot. Slipping back but we can assume that Ashling Duval spurned his advances, perhaps concluding, like many of us, that Patrias was more interested in the Imperial throne than anything else. So, who might be wooing the people's princess now? The first possibility is Senator Caspian Leopold, who has attended many meetings with Ashling and speaks warmly of her in interviews. Of course, the Senator is almost twice her age, but he is undoubtedly a gifted of Oh dear, what a cut. 
not to mention enormously wealthy and influential. And sometimes experience wins out. On the other end of the scale is a young man called Yald Redu, who has been spotted visiting Ishling at the palace. This passionate firebrand runs an organization called Universal Liberty, and has made a name for himself campaigning against a few. Slavery. So naturally, any relationship would give Ashling's own charity an enormous PR boost. Tori Du is a salt of the earth type who has worked hard to build a life for himself. His background could not be more different from Ashling's, with both his parents having died in servitude. A romance seems unlikely, but I wouldn't rule it out. Potential suitor number three, Federal Ambassador Jordan Rochester, has been stationed on Ashling's home planet Emerald where the two of them took a private tour around the Prism's Shades art installation. The tall and handsome ambassador cut a striking figure beside the princess, as the empathic art pulsed with light around them. A political general. Is she designed to soothe relations with the Federation, or something more personal? One thing's for sure, Princess Duval walks her own path, and has no problem with upsetting the established order. So when it comes to her love life, all bets are off. That was a lengthy piece, wasn't it? Based on not very much. Oh. The choice is yours. Very blind date, wasn't it? Shooter number three. I'd like a drink. If you were a drink, what sort of drink would you be? Tall drink of water, because I am a tall drink of water. I'm not going to get the data, am I? So, yes, we're off to um, have a look at our shields. And the reserves. See if we can get those a bit polished. And then I suppose possibly unlock further. Uh, oh no, far too soon. Steady on. Ooh, I'll fry. Too beautiful to burn. Yes. So um ooh. Yeah. French shift drive charging. So yes, we're going to unlock her with our with our ruins. Our ruins, our relics. And uh, see how far our current mats get us. We'll take it from there, really. There's a place that I can. Oh, excuse me. Pick up, uh, pick up my viper. Because I think that might benefit from her uh, skills as much as anything. Aremus, welcome. How now? Are you having a pleasant Sunday? Tonight we will be pressing all of the buttons. Yes. Got a niche. Well, Adams. Um, actually, I, I hate to break this to you, but I'm a real boy. Yes. But I get that a lot, you know. I used, to, I used to be a bit annoyed, but I'm over that now. There we go. Oops. Oh yes, also, Adamus, I should warn you, I say there we go slightly too often. It's a bit of a, a bit of a tick. So how are you, uh, Cessoir, Aramus? 
Uh, just call me w Papa Wendy, I call him. <laughs> Lovely man. Yes. Frameshift drive charging. Ooh. Tank's getting a little low. I should put my faith in the galaxy map. That's good to hear, Adamus. Lovely name, by the way. Back full of uh, Grecian promise. If indeed it is Greece, I'm not a I'm not a learned man. Haha! <laughs> I thank you for your bit. MC. Ooh. Oh no, now, um, MC. Um, I think there's a, there's a credit limit on, um, a credit threshold for the text to speech. Ooh. Animus equals God of Iron and Steel. Well, well. I certainly knew a bit about that. What? Yes. Yes, um, um, when I get to Kun, I should say, uh, M. Curtin says he is still full of barbecue food. This takes speech. I'll just, um, as we're amongst friends, I'll see where we are with the, uh, threshold. I think the threshold's five cents, uh, five, um, bits. Don't quote me. <laughs> Slightly worried about getting uh, Fuel getting spammed out the wazoo, so to speak. Fuel scoop disengaged. Also, the text appears rather rather small in the window, which I can't see, but um, I believe you can. I hope you can anyway. Ah, long sight base. Whoops. Oh dear. That crept up on me, didn't it? Let's see how close we can get to the planet without actually crashing into it. Still didn't work, did it? This isn't a ruse, by the way, MC. Should uh, I should make that clear. But it's something we should get to the bottom of. Well, I'll wait until I've um, parked, and then uh, and then I'll see where we are with that, because it's important, isn't it? I did it late one evening. Failed to commit it to memory. Disc. So, Adamus, are you um, are you an elite? Quite a career, yes. I'm not sure how many hours I've I've uh, logged up yet. I think I'm into my mid. I'm halfway. No, hang on. Oh. I think I'm less than 200 um, on this account. But I have played around in the Gimp's account. The Gimp is the the chap that looks after me. Point one seven G. It's going to take a little bit of. Uh... Oh no, that's very interesting. Yes. I think I may have 
had my engineer's medal. I think this is the one with the big, the big uh, plane for the driving around in. Oh, lovely. Yes, there's, um... There's never enough, um... Uh, in the sense that the, you know, demand, I think, will always outweigh the supply. Uh, never enough uh, tutorial stuff on here, I think. So any that is there is certainly welcome. Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Lake on Juliet Alpha Charlie. Flight control online. Welcome, Commander. Request docking permission if you wish to land. Clearance granted. Uh, Proceed no, no to rules tonight, um, zero two. Uh, griefed. Uh, we are just, um, just seeing how we get on with our um, engineering stuff first. Now, depending on how how the GIMPS VR session goes tomorrow and other factors, uh, there might be a surprise stream. By which I mean, you know, I've not decided whether to stream or not. So it'll be as much a surprise to me as it will be to anyone else. Yes. Oh, the Gimp's knee. Um, oh, night griefed. Thank you for thank you for all your hard work. Sleep well in your first cell. Sweet dreams. Bien dormi. Well, you were here, you know. Turning up is 80% uh, of it, as far as I'm concerned. Griefed. Very much. Ooh. Quite a kick. Quite a kick to the uh, landing gear. Landing gear deployed. Thank you, Victor. Ah, that's the bunny. Sleep well in your bed, Castell. And mattress, too, if you're... If you're splashing out. Have you ever splashed out on a mattress? I know I have. Yeah. Landing operation complete. Commence system shutdown. Welcome, Commander. Thank you. Sinister robot man. Of course, it's not an artificial intelligence running that. I think, I think it's just anonymizing the, uh, the actual flight controller. I reckon that's my, that's my thoughts on the matter. Right, stop what services. Engineer, oh yeah, refuel, why not? Engineer's workshop. No. Shield generators, that's why we're here. Kinetic enhanced low power. Ooh. That sounds promising. Module integrity is lost and mass reduced. We want mass reduced, don't we? It's one of the things that we're after. Here we go. And again. Experimental. First charge. Uh, can't really afford any of these, can we? Oh, hang on. No. 
We've not got the doings. That's a shame. Strip down. Fraud focus crystals. Hmm. I don't think it would be out of the way to uh, see if we can get some of those materials. Um, what have I got? Oh, no, that was that. There we go. It's a little background um, thingy. Uh, material. Broker. Oh dear. No, I've got to specify elite because otherwise you get real ones. the other thing. What was the other thing? The other thing was this. Ooh, this is exciting, isn't it? Ah. Log in. Log in with Twitch. Secret numbers. Nobody looking. Right. Um, Let's do a little, um, let's do a little, uh, test bits. No, that's frustrating. This is a test donation for dollar. Ah, uh, I see what's gone on there. I am chewing myself, Fisk. Yes, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm just testing some stuff. I realise what I've done wrong. I think bits are enabled. Text-to-speech enabled. There we go. Uh, I'm going to leave that. We'll set that to one. Try that again. This is a test bit alert. Ha ha. It works. Good. Right, that's one thing down. Now, can I remember how to find a material? What's it? Galaxy map. Text to speech works perfectly, doesn't it? Yes, it does, MC. And thank you. Bit boss, bit boss, bom 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 bom, bit boss, bit boss. Yeah, right. Um. Oh no, hang on. What am I actually looking for? That'd be a useful thing to know, wouldn't it? Right. So that's what we're looking at. Experiment more. Strip down, flawed focus crystals. Yeah, flawed focus crystals. So that's what tech is it? Oh. See now. Oh. Yeah, no, that looks about right. Let me go all the way up with that. Um, and we want. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh, there they are. Uh, economy. I think we want those ones, but don't quote me. Do chip in, by the way, if you have a favourite material broker that's uh, nearby. Ooh. Very warm tonight, isn't it? Beginning to regret wearing the old hoodie. Ooh. Let's find a material breaker, it's not the right one that we want. That seems to be how it goes. Still, you know, we've made a start. Oh dear. The old sky streaker. Coming right up. French shift drive charging. Ready to engage. Four, three, oh. two, one. There we are, and there we go. Two phrases that if I could, I would excise from my vocabulary and what I have. Oh, such crutches they have become. Stations are a bit thin on the ground, aren't they? Oh, not today, thank you. They'd love to get their hands on my rarities. Ooh, not quite a quite a fight there as well. Bye bye, bye bye bye. Uh, where were we? Oh. Oh, I get you right. Excuse me a moment. Oh, dear me. Oh. That's right, I have I've not broken wind or anything, I'm just very hot. Oh. 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 I should have had the gimp douse me down with some iced water before I came on or something. And we're flying in the wrong direction. And if you've ever flown in the wrong direction before, it takes much longer to get there. My advice, fly in the right direction. Yes. 
So, Fisk, you've got some new settings going? Tell me more. I'm all ears, as you can see. Or do you refer to my text to speech? Focus crystals are actually quite common, I think. So maybe I should just be uh, jumping into those zero risk USSs, and seeing what I can find. Splendidly. Oh, there is talk of a um, another multi-stream uh, sometime towards the end of June, which will, I think, largely be SRV based. Eight forty-three. How time flies when you do. <laughs> um, well, if you've got any um, pointers as to what we can improve, you know, we do enjoy feedback. Did have some connection uh, issues, possibly do, possibly down to the low latency settings, possibly not. So I think with the next one, I'm not going to use low latency. <laughs> and see how we how we get on. Tripping over my own tongue there. Lord knows there's enough of it. Look at that monster. Oh, dreadful. Tongue, of course, the only muscle in the human body, which is only anchored at one end. Uh, yes. Most powerful muscle, that's the jaw. Um, strongest muscle, that's the jaw. I've just said that. Uh, biggest muscle is the old uh, gluteus maximus, your bum. Yeah. Oh yes, no, the team speaky aspects of it as well. Oh, I see. Um, so you were watching full on the. Um, well, um, I don't think we're landing here, do you? Very poor. I quite like the sort of the gentle tap we just gave it. Um, yes, that's probably, um, that's probably wise, yes. If, if it was all happening at once. Because I think, yes, because we sort of all have our, um, 
we're all sort of broadcasting voice on our own channels and also on TeamSpeak simultaneously. So, uh, yeah. Come to me. That's better. They've got facilities. Need facilities. Maniac Psycho, welcome. How now, sir? Oh, thank you for the host. For a psycho, you're a gent. Ha! <laughs> Low orbit is in aid. Oh. A good a little wilting, a little in the heat. You know, but uh, otherwise. Pippin a dandy, yes. We're currently fishing for a uh, material broker. So it didn't occur to me to actually research one before we started. Never mind, do you know? It's all learning. Now, if I know my uh, emoticons, uh, Maniac has greeted us with uh, a funny honey thief emoticon and then other buttons. Buttons? Other, bu other buttons. Sorry, I seem to have. Migrated slightly. Ah, other buttons, icon. There we go. Emoticon. Emoji. Speaking of which, I need to I need to get on I need to get on and design one. Oh. <coughs> oh. 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 Oh dear. I do apologize. Rather, uh, rather crept up on one. Oh. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, MC. Oh, that was dry. That was dry. That was fine. Oh. Lights on. To have me lights on for a dark approach, yeah. so I can see the ground moments before it hits me. Ha 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 ha! Ooh. Jack, do you have a strong, do you have a strong North Yorkshire accented cousin? Ah, oh, um, not to my knowledge. I think most of my. Uh, most of my cousins are from uh, from the West Midlands. I think they're more uh, uh, more than riding, shall we say? Yes. Now the uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna have terrible time. Uh, finding my way back now. Uh -oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. I just need to. <clears throat> hello, 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 and welcome to another insulting swan and all. Oh, there we go. I think I'm back. I think I'm back. I think I'm back in the room. Good. Good, good, good. But yes, they're, they're from, uh... They're from Walsall, which is a very particular accent indeed. Landing permitted. Set down a landing pad 05. Possibly one of the hardest, um... I think one of the hardest accents for a non-West Midlander to do. Because it's, um... To the untrained ear, um, basically Birmingham, 
but it's definitely not burning. Terrain alert. Pull up now. What? Why? What's the terrain going to do? Other than, you know, come up and greet me. Oh. Uh, four, four pips in engine, which isn't helping. I've got me wheels, MC. Landing system. Commence system shutdown. Well, perhaps, um, perhaps I could invent a Yorkshire cousin who could come over. Perhaps he could be bald. And red of lip. Yes. Oh, yes, Fisk, I know. Not enough. I think that's the take home. Let's see. Does it still come up on here? Let's see. Statistics. Ooh, 49 million. Mr. Moneybags. It's right at the bottom. Most of it's been on stream, you see. Oh, there we go. Time played. Three hours. Oh, no, that's, that's CQC, Jack. I was going to say, I've been, certainly been on here longer than three hours. Oh, there we go. No, nope, that's multi crew. Crafting, search and rescue. Approximate time played five days, 16 hours, and 56 minutes. Blimey, Charlie. I think the, um, I think the. Oh, I think the one you're looking for, uh, Fisk Dragon, is Barry. It's exclamation mark B B A R R Y. Barry. I think that's the one you want. Definitely. Yep. Nailed it. <laughs> no Rick Roll here, sadly. Oh. Contacts. No, interstellar factors. That's a shame. To, um, is to throttle up before I'm released uh, when taking off. It's uh, in, you know, appropriate cases, of course. It's quite the thing. Great big planet in the way. Where did that come from? Oh, 8.55 already. I think we were going to do it, you know. Not tonight, anyway. Oh, I don't think we are. 
Oh, oh, that's a bit, um, oh, that's like that poet, isn't it? Welcome to the verb. <clears throat> Is that better? Yes. Don't want to get done for passing off. No, sir. That it, it's all, it's all. Welcome to the welcome to the word. Oh, hang on. Well, welcome to the word. That's uh, that's more your Terry Christian, isn't it? He sort of up, sort of up there, you know. Bit of a wry, bit of a wry kind of sideways glance at popular culture. Thank you. Man of a million voices. Eighty-five percent of them, of course, are um, Dracula. But I do have a few floating around in there. Oh, Jason G, thank you for the host. Right, I think I'm going to sit down here. Hello? What, what, what? Some of these icons are very confusing, you know. That's a landed system and it's got a hub for an icon. Very confusing. But that is where we will go. How are you, Jason? We're actually, uh... Rushing towards the end of uh, end of tonight's program, I'm afraid. But uh, welcome, welcome. If anybody would like to suggest um, someone to follow, uh, someone to raid rather, then do uh, do pipe up in chat, won't you? Oh, I'm very well, slightly um, moist. I must admit this uh, peculiar weather we've been having. We've got muggy, thunderstorm muggy, which is uh, most unusual. The grass in my garden is very long and has become um, a resting place for neighborhood cats. I think cats like the long grass, don't you? There's safety in it. Oh. We've been playing around with 46 as well, Jason. Um, we've had Terry Christian. We've had, um, had some chap from Yorkshire. It's very easy, to, very easy for me to slip into that, you know. It's just right. It's just when one does a voice, uh, one pictures it um, as occupying a space within one's mouth. You see, and Yorkshire, Yorkshire's just about an inch or so, an inch or so back from uh, certainly this voice. Anyway, is uh, it's just a little bit. It's like about an inch back, and about half an inch, half an inch up. Well, that is where you will find it. Yes, it's most peculiar. I, I, that's the only way I can have of articulating it, really. Well, somebody was, um... I can't remember if they asked me or they just led me to think about how one, um, how one changes one's notes in, uh, whilst whistling. That was a very peculiar mind space I got into. Because I realised I had no idea. You know, one just whistles. That's what happens when you do something for... 37 years. <laughs> Orbital flight engaged. 
It is, as you say, hem curtains, all in the tongue. Oh, I'm sort of slightly guilty of not having a crack at Walsall tonight, really, but uh, uh, as well she might mean Yaksaku, as well she might say that. Ah, but can you snap your... No, that doesn't work. Can you snap your whistle, I was going to say. That doesn't really make sense, does it? And then where does that leave me? Just with the fingers. Can I, can I, cl can I click my fingers? Hang on, let's, let's give it a go. Here we go. What about, what about this? Hang on. Oh, oh me nose. Hang on. Yeah, something like that. Anyway. Oh. It's a very difficult thing to teach a knack, I think that's the thing. And with whistling and snapping. One thing I can't do is whistle with my fingers. See, I've just got no idea. No idea what I'm supposed to be doing there at all. But I can. I can whistle that way, see. I think the trick for a lot of whistling is to whistle on the inhale. Um, I think you get a purer note whistling on the inhale versus. Also, much easier to. Uh... Ah, so one as much as one is using one's fingers, one is all mainly using one's tongue. Fascinating. Perhaps I should pursue this further. It'll be another string to my bow. Um. Um. Warning, you have entered a trespass zone. Oh, blow. These systems are getting very confusing, you know. I don't think we will. Land. I don't think we will land here, you know. I think we're just going to have to set ourselves drifting off in off in space. Oh. Oh. Right. Well, it's nine oh four. I'm afraid so. Uh, we've rather come to the end of our uh, nonsense for tonight. Fancy bowing out on whistling, eh? Ah. Well, um, let's see now. Who have we got in the little list? Oh, Collo is still broadgramming. Shall we go over to Collo? Let's go over to Collo. Right. She's kind to me. There we are. Uh, so, yes. It remains me to uh, thank our guests tonight. That's um, M. Curtains, Griefed, uh, ooh, Fist Dragon, Jason G, Maniac Psycho. And thank you again for M. M. Curtains for his, for his bits, which I enjoyed. And uh, thank you, of course, to Mr. Steve Kirby for making me the man I am today. So, Till our paths meet once more, fly safe, and I shall see you in the black. Shamro. Jason, you maniac. Thank you. <laughs>